Hello, friends how are you I hope you are fine. Today we share information about Monica Bellucci. Monica Anna Maria Bellucci is an Italian actress and model. She began her career as a fashion model modeling for Dolce and Gabbana and Dior before making a transition to Italian films and later American and French films. She made her film debut in Francesco Lo Daddio's Italian comedy La Riffa. Monica Anna Maria Bellucci was born on September 30, 1964 in the Italian village of Sinte di Castello Umbria the only child of Brunella Briganti and Pasquale Bellucci. She originally pursued a career in the legal profession. While attending the University of Perugia she modeled on the side to earn money for school and this led to her modeling career. In 1988 she moved to one of Europe's fashion centers Milan and joined the lead model management. Although enjoying great success as a model she made her acting debut on television in 1990 and her American film debut in Bram Stoker's Dracula 1992. Her role in the French thriller in The Apartment 1996 shot her to stardom as she won the French equivalent of an Oscar nomination. Other credits include Malina 2000 Under Suspicion 2000 and Brotherhood of the Wolf 2001. She appeared in a black and white TV commercial for Dolce & Gabbana. The director was Giuseppe Tornatori, who also directed her in the movie Malina 2000. It's fluent in Italian English French Persian and Spanish. She also speaks a little Portuguese that she learned when she moved to Rio de Janeiro in 2013. Former daughter-in-law of Jean-Pierre Castle and Sabine Castle, former sister-in-law of Rock and Squad Olivia and Cecil Castle, made a new calendar for the Italian magazine Max in 1998, and another one for the Italian magazine GQ in 2000. She was originally cast as Mina Harker in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen 2003, but had to drop out due to a scheduling conflict. The role then went to Peter Wilson, studied jurisprudence for a short time, gave birth to her first child at age 39 daughter Deva Castle on 9-12-2004. Child's father is her second ex-husband Vincent Castle, elected the most beautiful woman in the world by French viewers on a television show La Plus Belle Femme du Monde on 11-8-2004. Also a successful fashion model represented by elite and store model management, her favorite poem is a Sylvia by Giacomo Leopardi, has her lookalike puppet on the French comedy show Les Gignols de Linfo 1988, ranked number 6 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 50 Women of 1999 list, ranked number 9 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2002 list, ranked number 1 in Ask Men's Top 99 Most Desirable Women of 2002. Her favorite movie is A Special Day 1977 by Atori Scola. Her role as Chen Hurst in Under Suspicion 2000 was held by Romy Schneider in the original movie The Grilly 1981. Doesn't always reside with her husband Vincent Castle for avoiding routine the two reside in separate apartments. She resides most of the time in Rome, and he resides in Paris, France. Bellucci is a typical surname from Central Italy it comes from the Latin word Bellutus, and has the same root as surnames like Belluto Belluti Belluzzo Belluccio, or the aristocratic surname of Belluzzi, speaks to her daughter Deva Castle in Italian. She has said in an interview that Sofia Loren and Claudia Cardinali have inspired her acting career. Ranked number 89 in FHM magazine's 100 Sexiest Women in the World 2005 Special Supplement, is a member of the jury at the Cannes Film Festival in 2006 has a wax statue in the Greven Museum in Paris, France. Their parents are Luigi Bellucci and Maria Gustinelli, ranked number 5 on E! Entertainment Network's list of 101 Sexiest Celebrity Bodies list of 2006, attended the University of Perugia, chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 Sexiest Stars in Film History a number 35 2007, gave birth to her second child at age 45 a daughter Leonie Castle on May 21, 2010. Child's father is her second ex-husband Vincent Castle, was four months pregnant with her daughter Leoni when she completed filming The Whistleblower 2010, returned to work five months after giving birth to her daughter Deva in order to begin filming How Much
much do you love me? 2005, returned to work four months after giving birth to her daughter Leonie in order to begin filming The Ages of Love 2011, shares birthday with fellow actresses Deborah Kerr, Angie Dickinson, Marion Cotillard and actor Ezra Miller, separated from her second husband of 14 years Vincent Castle, August 2013, appearing in the James Bond movie Spectre 2015 as Lucia Ciara at age 51 she becomes the oldest actress to play a Bond girl, Honor Blackman at age 39 had previously been the oldest actress to play a Bond girl with her role as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger 1964, however Blackman is still the oldest actress ever to play a lead Bond girl since Bellucci's role is only a brief cameo, ranked as having one of the most beautiful famous faces by T.C. Candler's list of the 100 most beautiful famous faces from around the world for 18 consecutive years 1999 to 2000. 2016, ranked number 2 in 2004, she auditioned for the role of Mrs. Paris McKenna Carver in the James Bond movie Tomorrow Never Dies 1997, that role was later portrayed in the finished product by Terry Hatcher but Miss Bellucci eventually did play a Bond girl 18 years later in the role of Donna Lucia Ciara for the 007 Adventure Spectre, 2015, was considered for the role of Giuseppina Pina Arima in House of Gucci 2000. 2021, she was the producer's first choice for the role before Salma Hayek was cast. My body is so important to me. My face, my arms, my legs, my hands, my eyes, everything. I use everything I have. When I eat with my friends it is a moment of real pleasure when I really enjoy my life. I come from a Catholic religion but I'm not Catholic. On her daughter Deva I didn't have familiarity with children. I'm learning day after day with her. And what impressed me the most is that she Deva is an individual person. But in miniature she seems to be a special effect. After love the man sleeps while the woman reflects. Beauty becomes alive and interesting when it's habited. Being an actress is the sublimation of femininity. The human intelligence has progressed at the technological level, not at the level of feelings. It is a handicap. If you're stupid but not if you are intelligent and know how to use your beauty. I feel fine and comfortable with myself but not because I'm beautiful. I know many beautiful people and their lives are just so terrible. They feel so uncomfortable with themselves. Being comfortable is not about what you look like but how you feel. I'm a lucky person, because I've been loved a lot. I have a great family. Acting is not words. Holly Hunter didn't speak in the piano 1993 and she won an Oscar. I live in Paris but I feel I am a daughter of Europe. When I'll be old I'd rather watch my children than my films. My career at the moment is very exciting. But love comes first because it balances me. I listen to young music the one from my age. I adore soul rap and funky. On her husband's support when Irreversible 2002 was released Vincent was so incredible so sweet. When we went to Cannes for the film you know the moment when I come out from the tunnel and we see me for the first time completely with blood all over he was crying. I said Vincent come on, it's just a movie. We know it's not real. As a European I need to stay in Europe and I make Italian movies French movies. Then to come to America is something interesting for me. On reality television I think this is something that touches every country. America Italy France England all over. You will see all these people they don't know how to sing they don't know how to dance and still they become famous you know just celebrities and i think this is a very dangerous process this is what i like about america because you have very big budget movie and also independent movies so you have many different choices but i know that i'm european being european it is not easy to find the right project because you may look different you sound different and you have to find the right character on how much do you love me 2005 as a woman i'm so curious about prostitutes because of the idea that they know men better than you also it's such a strange way to live but at the same time there are prostitutes who just want to be prostitutes and this is this woman nobody pushed her to do it she's a prostitute because she wants to be a prostitute it's her philosophy of life I'm not scared by nudity, because for me nothing is more beautiful than a body. You can have such an amazing emotion from a body. In Irreversible 2002 I treated my body like it was an object. And it's great when you can have this kind of relation with your body it's a part of your job and object you can work with. 
When you can have this kind of freedom it's the moment where you can give your best as an actress. In 10 years I've done so many things. In the beginning I didn't know if I was still a model if I was an actress. I knew I wanted to be an actress, but it was so difficult to be believed. Now things are going better and better. And the proposals I have are much more interesting than 5 years ago. It's like getting older is getting better. Maybe the reason I work a lot is because each director thinks that I'll be better with him. Maybe the moment where I'll be completely accepted I won't work anymore. On why she will not move to Hollywood to further her film career. I could never live there. They are obsessed with youth and beauty even more than us. There is this thing in America where actresses reach 40 and go mad. The film industry wants all these young people. They also like a different sort of woman than me. I will never be skinny. I also had a child a year ago and I have been lazy. I love to eat. Who cares? I am natural. I am at a stage in my life where if I don't go out I don't feel I'm missing something. I get bored surrounded by people smoking cigarettes drinking alcohol. And I'm not so interested now in going to premieres or being photographed on the red carpet. I want to be with my daughter. I am an agnostic even though I respect and am interested in all religions. If there's something I believe in it's a mysterious energy. The one that fills the oceans during tides the one that unites nature and beings. I know that beauty invites a certain curiosity. But as Oscar Wilde said beauty is just five minutes long if you don't have anything else to sustain that curiosity. I don't think that I would have made this kind of career if I were just beautiful. Directors don't call you for your beauty but for your talent. I'm not someone who wakes up at 6 a.m. to go to the gym. The truth is that I like cakes and pasta the odd glass of wine and a very occasional cigarette. My advice is, eat well drink well have good sex, and laugh a lot. The rest comes all on its own. If you like this video subscribe for more upcoming videos.